Greetings everyone. So if you notice that you can't control your Nest thermostat anymore through your Amazon Voice Assistant, well, there's been some changes. So you have to go back in to the app on both the Amazon app and the Google Nest app to make that reconnection. So let me show you what I had to do to get it done to make it reconnect to make it start working again. Okay, so first thing you have to do, you have to go back into the Nest app and you have to log out if you're still logged in and then log back in. This time it's going to ask you to connect to your Google account. Once you put in your username and password, it's going to come back to the screen where your devices usually appear. If your devices are not there, you have to go back in and add them in like you originally did when you were setting them up. So you'd have to do that to your Nest thermostat and your Nest Protect if you have any Nest Protect or any other Nest product. So if once you reconnect them back into your Nest app, they're still going to be missing from your Amazon Voice Assistant app. So therefore, you'd have to go back in and reconnect that one also. So the first thing you want to do is go in and disable the skill. And then you want to go back in and re-enable the skill. This time, you have to sign into your Google account like you did with the Nest app. After you put in all your credentials and you're back in, now you want to scan for new devices. Now sometimes the Amazon Voice Assistant app usually pick up those devices automatically. But if it doesn't, then go ahead and scan for new devices. Now whether the app picked it up automatically or you scan for new devices, it's going to appear under the thermostat category. Once it reappear, now you can control your thermostat through your voice assistant like you used to before. So that's how you re-engage voice control of your Nest thermostat if you notice that you don't have control anymore. And if you want to set up some routine for your Nest thermostat, now you have that ability. All right, so I hope that was helpful. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.